Let's make a material to the sale object. So click the material editor button in the toolbar to open the material editor and go to a free slot and name it sale plot. Okay. Click the gray button next to diffuse. This is a shortcut to the diffuse map channel. Double click the bitmap. Select the piece image that is found in the working file folder that comes with this DVD. Click open button. Assign this material to the seal object. Click the show mapping viewport. In the perspective view, if you try to rotate the perspective, it's so dim. We need to adjust the light here. So close the material editor. Go to the display panel. Click the unhide by name. We're going to select one of the fill lights. Actually, we're going to select Omni-01. Okay. Now we're going to relocate it. So click the select and move tool. Select the Omni-01 and change the X value to 290. Okay, now we can continue adjusting the mapping of the material. So open the material editor one more time. Make sure that the safe cloth material sample is the active slot. Rotate the mapping minus 31. Okay, and change the U offset to minus 0.21 and the V offset value to minus 0.09. Okay, I think it is adjusted now. So select the sail object, click the arc rotate selected to rotate around the sail object. As you see that the sail object is only shaded in one side and it's not shaded in the opposite side and actually we're going to solve this in the material so click go to parent and check the two-sided checkbox now as you see that the seal object is shaded in both sides but because the material contains text we have another problem here that the text is mirrored and of course this is not accepted so we have to solve this problem Uncheck the two-sided checkbox because we are going to solve it in another way. Click the standard button. Double-click the double-sided. Make sure that the keep old material radio button is on. Click OK. Drag the silk cloth to the back material and make sure that the copy radio button is on. Click OK. Click the silk cloth next to back material. Name it silk cloth back. Click the M next to diffuse to go to the mapping parameters. Change the U tiling to minus 1 in order to mirror the text. Now we want to see the mirrored material temporary. So click the show mapping viewport. Let us adjust the offset values. Change it to minus 0.27. As you see here, the text is adjusted. Okay, uncheck the show mapping viewport, close the material editor, and now let us check by rendering both sides. So make sure that the perspective view is the current view. Click the render button, the toolbar. As you see here that the text is adjusted, close the rendered frame and rotate the perspective view to the other side and then click the render one more time. Okay, as you see now that the text is properly oriented in both sides. Close the rendered frame. We want to link the sail object to the mess, so click the select and link button in the toolbar. Make sure that the sail object is selected and drag to select the mess 01 to be the parent object. Okay. Click the select and rotate button in the toolbar. Make sure that the angle snap toggle is on. Select the bow object and rotate in the top view 40 degrees. Now we need to animate the boat. So click the auto key. Go to the last frame. Frame 300. Click the select and move tool. Change the reference coordinate to local. And in the X axis move the boat around 25 units 
Okay. As you see here in the perspective, it is moving, but of course, we need to animate the sail object, and this will be done by simulation. And if you remember in the storyboard, we have a windy day, the wind is changing its direction, and we have to apply this in the scene. Deactivate the auto key and go to the first frame, change this back to view. Okay, now we need to um, to create the wind object, so go to the create, space warps, click the wind button, in the front view, click and drag to create the wind icon, and then uh, make sure that the angle snap toggle is on, and click the select and rotate tool, we are going to rotate it minus 180 degrees, now we need to animate the wind, because as we said earlier that it was wind today, so click the auto key, go to frame 50, and then um, rotate it 60 degrees. In the storyboard, the wind was changing its direction all through the animation, so we have to apply this in the scene. So with the right mouse click, go to Curve Editor, Click the zoom selected object, select the Z rotation track, click the parameter curve out of range types icon here, or you can access it by clicking the controller and out of range types. We need it to loop all through the animation, so select the loop, click OK. As you see here, the animation continues all through till the last frame. If you play the animation, you will realize a problem. The wind changes its direction suddenly. Whenever it reaches this point, it changes its direction suddenly, as you see. So, we need to fix this, actually. So, select the first key, and press the Shift key on your keyboard to clone the key. Move it to frame 60. As you see now, it's better. Okay. To make it more smooth, select the key in the middle and then click the set tangents to auto. Now it's more smooth. Yes, it is more smooth now.